So everybody has a certain um, amount of genetics. We get one side from our mother and one side from our father. And we each have 23 sets from our mom and dad. Um, like in the case of V, she actually has an extra set, so she's 47 because she has that extra Y. But in most people, you have 46. And what happens is those become your own DNA, and then that kind of works together to make you who you are. And each set of chromosomes are numbered. So in her case, and in my husband's and my case, um, on our 16th chromosome, we are missing a section. That's what a deletion is, is. It means that there's a little piece missing. In dad's and my case, that means that we're only missing a section on one side and that the other side is whole, so those kind of work together to fill the gap sometimes. In V's case, she inherited the deletion from both dad and I, so on her 16th, she's actually missing that whole section. It's not a big section, it's a micro deletion, so that means that it's like three or four genes that are missing, but that can cause a big problem. In her case, it means that she's deaf. Um, she was born deaf. She has a little bit of hearing, but um, as she gets older, that will probably go to the point where she's totally deaf anyways, because norm what they found with this deletion is that um, the, the gene that affects hearing um, tends to the nerve dies over the years. So normally it affects people at an older age, but we assume because she has both sets missing that it affected her at a young age. Um, and she has been losing hearing steadily since she was born. So she's now to the point where she's pretty profound. Another gene is um, associated with Crohn's disease. Another gene is uh, associated with autism. So they're still kind of figuring out what these are, and there's a lot of different deletions throughout the whole, you know, all of your chromosomes that you could have that cause a lot of different things or have the potential to cause them. Um, in her case, that's what it causes, but um, it can cause seizures, it can cause a lot of things. As she grows, we'll find out if she's got any of the other stuff, but so far it looks like deafness and otherwise is quite normal where a lot of the kids that, um, and I say a lot, but there's only about 100 of them um, in the U.S. right now. It's very rare. Um, that may be a few more, but I'm not sure. Um, they tend to have a lot more severe issues than what V has, it seems like.